Hey everybody, it's Chewy again, and I'm basically going to do an update to the uh, Rainbow Generators. Um, I had some trouble with the admins on the server. Uh, the setup I was using was actually creating too much lag, um, and so they asked me to reconfigure it, and so I did. And I figured I might as well do an update on the video as well. So basically what we have here, right now we have, I'm not doing any more balance clay because I finished that quest. Um, so I'm just basically dumping everything into the tier eight Draconic core. Um, and, you, and you can see we're running 500 million RF a tick. So that's 20 rainbow generators. All right. And I've got them all under glass here and we've, they're double stacked in there. Um, all right. And then I did want to show you, I kind of went through and disassembled, uh, the ones here. But I did leave all of this replication going on, and I wanted to go, kind of go through it uh, before. So this is a culinary generator. It's replicating apples. Um, and we went through the cyclic item. Um, so I condensed these all down into one, and I'll show you where this goes. But basically, I have one GPS marker, which is going to another crate uh, that is being dedicated to all, all of the 20 culinary generators. Okay. Uh, explosive generator, we've got gunpowder going. Again, it's the same thing, Terra Steel Chicken into an MK2 condenser, and we're replicating gunpowder. The chest is a buffer, and then it's going out through the cyclic item transfer node. All right, and so we've got everything going here. So we got nether stars, <clears throat> survival and overclocked furnaces. Um, so this is running coal. Uh, this is actually going to be survival and furnace. The overclocked is actually going to use something different. I'll show you that in a minute. Whoops. Here we go. Okay, so the death generator is running um, bone block. Um, we've got two of those. I'm only actually using one of them right now. The halitosis generator is replicating dragon's breath. Um, and then that cyclic. Uh, so the redstone generator, obviously we're replicating redstone. The frosty, we're replicating snowballs. Uh, the overclocked, this one is not in use anymore. I gotta reclaim that. Um, and then pink is for the pink generator, and basically we're replicating pink wool. So the pink generator will take anything that's pink, obviously. Uh, so you could use pink dye, pink wool, uh, whatever pink that you can find. All right. And so what I did for the overclocked is this. These gener these are generating alchemical coal blocks and so their burn time is way longer than 57,600 ticks so it's way longer than coal um, but even still that overclock generator runs so fast that it burns through one of these in, in basically no time at all so I actually needed three stacks of chickens to, to keep up with it you can see it's it's burning through them as fast as they can make it um, so that's basically for the overclock generator, all right? And then here is the uh, potion gens, which hasn't really changed. Uh, we're replicating all the things that are going into the lingering potion, all right? So if you didn't see that in the first video, okay, we're using alchemical and imbue alchemical imbuers, um, and then we're feeding it with water and nether wart to bring an awkward potion. And then it's transferring into here, which added the uh, golden carrots makes it a potion of night vision and then from there the potion of night vision and redstone becomes potion of night vision longer uh, eight minutes um, that eight minutes adds a fermented spender, uh, spider eye and goes to potion of invisibility again eight minutes um, we're adding gunpowder to make it a splash potion and then we're adding dragon's breath to make it a lingering potion of invisibility and then this one the fluid transposer just bottles it okay and then we have a, a buffer chest and then everything's sending out to the potion generator uh, crate. Um, and that basically will feed the other generators. All right. And then, so this is just replicating bottles and dragon's breath, all of the ingredients for the potions. Okay. Um, over here, we've now got four of the automatic fishers running the uh, disenchantment items. And I still will go through every once in a while and just create a, a ton of books and go through and just make level one enchanted books and throw them in there if it ever looks like it's starting to, to slow down. Um, 
you that is one of the items you cannot EMC with. Uh, you get an enchanted book, but there's no real value to it, and the enchanted or the uh, disenchantment generators will not take them. So they have to be actually, they actually have to have an enchant on it. They can't be just a generic enchanted book, All right? Um, and so this is what we've got here. So now, kind of clear up the snow here. Um, so each of these is in its own chunk. All right, so you can see the chunk lines. So this is all in one chunk. This is all in another. This is in another. This is in another. So I'm running four chunks and a stack of five generators in each chunk. Okay. And where is that intermite? It's probably down there. Anyways, so what we do is okay. So let's before I go down in there, I'll show you this. All right, so we've got everything going into one crate, and then we have new cyclic, cyclic generators running each running um, from here. They're sending it into a crate at the bottom of each generator. Okay, and this feeds. All of the generators using NR IO con item conduits into each of the generators. Now the ones that have multiples, like the like the slimy generator, um, we've got another crate on this side which is feeding it milk, and the other one's feeding it uh, slime balls. And then over here, this on all of these is red flux uh, energy conduit, and that is dumping all into a energy trash can at the bottom. And then if we need to item, if we need to remove items, we're using this. Um, I forget what these are. Uh, we can jump down there real quick. They are impulse item ducks. All right. And so those run into a trash can on the bottom. So in the in, in the case of the halitosis generator, it's taking the empty bottles from the glass or from the um, dragon's breath potion uh, over in the potion generator. It's taking the glass bottles from there. And then in the case of the slimy generator, it's pulling the um, empty milk buckets. OK, um, and these are all the same order and they're all in the same placement in each of these four areas. So that makes it easier to track whenever I've got one that I need to take care of. OK. Um, and the superheated redstones here, that's another one of the doubles. So we've got on the bottom, we're feeding redstone. And then on this one, we're reading, we're feeding lava, which is coming from one of the gargantuan lava drums, which is also being fed. Um, I guess we can go back there. That's being fed with fluid transfers from here, which is being constantly, it's constantly generating lava to keep this drum filling up and then it's sending fluid wirelessly to each of these drums here and then there the uh, hardened fluid hardened fluid duct is running back over here and then filling up the heated redstone generators so that's about it basically we had one over here which is uh, inner pearls we weren't getting enough um, originally I had st just used the inner pearl chickens and that was enough for five um, but it was not enough on its own, so I had to start replicating ender pearls. And so basically, what we're doing is uh, replicating them here, all right, with the terra steel chickens. And then they are running into this crate, and then out this transfer node to all of the ender generators here. And they're keeping those full all the way for the entire time. So, so far, every time I've logged on, uh, the only thing that will drop so far has been the enchanted items, um, and I kind of understood where that, you know, because you're at the you're at the mercy of the of the automatic fishers. Um, I could probably bump that up to six or maybe even eight of the automatic fishers, and we could probably keep up with it. But in for most cases, I just go and enchant level one stuff. I've got enough. I've got like unlimited liquid experience through EMC, so. Basically, I can give myself all the levels I need, and then I just encrypt the, or I just uh, enchant books at the level one, and run through them, and then I'll dump a, a chest or two in there, and it usually is enough to keep the buffer going. Um, so for right now, uh, it's actually make sure we're still at 500, but yep, 
So pretty steady, it's giving me 500, RF, 500 million RF a tick. Um, and you can see we're at 500, almost, four, almost 585 trillion RF in the tier eight core and we're at 0.006%. <laughs> so this is a beast of a core that we'll probably never fill. Um, but anyways, that's an uh, update on the rainbow generators. Hopefully that was helpful. Um, if you have any questions, leave them down below. And thanks for stopping.